As an example here of uh, a bike we have in the Free Bikes uh, for Kids program, we have uh, a mongoose. So this is, uh, has come to us from our uh, collection collection of bikes bikes here. So this one uh, I went ahead and picked out. I was attracted because of the uh, the tires, the tread here. Uh, mongoose, it looks good. But I think when you go through the mud and snow, it's going to actually leave the imprint backwards. So um, it would be more fun, I think, if it was the uh, negative print there. So um, the, uh, this is the X racer, it appears. It's going to need a little cleanup. <clears throat> That's easy, but some mechanical things real quick we're going to do. The free bike for kids for the volunteers uh, have provided a nice checklist. Uh, it's a very good, simple checklist. It's a multi-speed, single speed. Uh, number one, excellent advice, always start with the frame. So we are going to look through for welding, bends, cracks. We don't want any unsafe bikes going out. We are frayed back here. It's frayed past the pinch bolt. Mechanically, not an issue, uh, but this is going to a child. So I think with these uh, very sharp uh, cut wires, we are going to replace that cable. And the brake shoes appear to be a lot of material, but they are hard as a rock, uh, so those also will be needing some, uh, some replacement. So that's just a quick overview, and now let's, uh, let's get to work. We have, uh, we have brake pads. We're going to need some new brake pads. We're going to need a cable. Here's a cable here right in front of us. And... Uh, Let's do those nice slick ones. Let's use one of the basic. Basic cable from uh, QBP. And uh, we don't need derailleurs on this bike, certainly. Uh, some housing. Here is some housing here. So uh, we'll just take the box and uh, trim it and give, uh, get us some new, new housing. We're back on our workbench, keeping things organized here, getting ready for the, uh, the little Mongoose Racer X. Uh, trick used by uh, old bike mechanics and clever young bike mechanics. Often it's useful to turn this thing upside down. Wheels drop straight in, uh, it just makes the work a lot nicer. It does take a little getting used to which way to pedal, uh, things like that, but uh, working upside down um, can be a nice, uh, nice option. So that's how we're going to proceed on uh, the mongoose. A little uh, speed trick we can do here. We start each pedal. We're putting a pair of pedals on here. And we're going to back pedal, holding each at the same time. Threading them both in together. Then we'll get our wrench and tighten each. Hence, saving valuable seconds. We're going to also throw on some new, new shoes. These are not only loose, they're quite old and hard. Uh, there is plenty of pad material here. They're actually quite thick, not, probably have not seen a lot of use. But if we check out the plastic in back, if we can get a good look at that, these fissures, these cracks, these are hardness cracks. So this is literally uh, becoming hard like a rock, uh, like uh, the carbon that it is. Um, so not going to be a very effective brake shoe. So we are going to uh, install some new shoes. That's a good, a good thing. Right through here. Washer. Okay, we have our new grips on. Brakes good. Again, everything's checked out. Uh, we've gone through our, uh, our checklist. Uh, the part that I uh, enjoy now, of course. Let's go do a little, uh, let's go do a little ride. A little ride on the, on the Racer X. This is what it is all about. 